assalamu alaikum welcome back this is uh, the second video uh, about configuring a cluster computer so in the previous video we started with installing ubuntu and uh, configuring the ssh server on all the nodes including the login node and the compute node and we also made uh, the passwordless uh, login possible for uh, from the server to the nodes and vice versa if you can so the next thing is uh, the network file system. So we have to configure the network file system to run parallel calculations. If you want to run a calculation parallel on across multiple nodes or multiple uh, computers, then you can, you must have the network file system. So for the network file system, uh, we'll install the network file system server on the login node and uh, the client on the compute node. So for this is the login node I'm showing you. Uh, if I run this command, I will install the network file system. Press yes. It is downloading the network file system and installing it. So that is done. Next, what we will do is uh, make a directory sudo mkdir slash nfs. So slash nfs will be the, the directory where the network file system will be mounted. So what we'll do next is edit the following file. S uh, sudo nano, uh, you need the sudo privileges to edit this file slash etc expose. So if we edit the following file, uh, what we'll do is add the following line to it uh, at the end. I'll just paste the line uh, and then uh, I will save it. Control O, enter Control X. Now what I need to do is restart the network file system kernel by the following command so that the changes take effect. So what I'll do is uh, look at the permissions on the uh, network file system, ls uh, space hyphen ld slash nfs. So you can see that only root can access this uh, network file system as it was created using sudo. So what I'll do is uh, I'll own the file system to my user. I'll change the ownership, sudo chown, username, and slash nfs. So it will change the ownership if I look at the, uh, the ownership now. Uh, Hashmi user owns the network file system now, and it still belongs to the root group. That is all right. So the, that is done on the part of the uh, server. Now we come to the compute nodes and install the network file system over there as well. So now I'll SSH. Uh, let me just clear the screen to make it more visible to you guys. SSH RG01. I'm here on the first compute node and I'm going to install the network file system client over here, sudo apt get install nfs client. So yes, here we go. So uh, you can see that the network file system is ready. Again, we'll also make a similar directory sudo mkdir slash nfs and then now we need to mount the network file system over here so sudo nano slash etc slash fstab so if you edit that file uh, we'll add the line to mount the nfs server so I'll just bring the cursor down here and add the line. So this the commented line uh, is not part of the the programming. It's just for us to remember what we have done. 
So I have set it the HRG server slash NFS, mount this one on my slash NFS, which is on this compute node, and call this NFS network file system. So I control O, control X, save it. And then I will say, okay, now remount all partitions. Sudo mount space hyphen A, enter. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, pseudo spellings were not right. Pseudo mount A. So it says the FSTA was modified, but system is using the old one. I'll just reload the diamond and then pseudo mount A. Now, if I control L, I clear the screen and, uh, oh, sorry. I'll just go cd slash nfs and ls over here. Of course, there is nothing over in, in this folder. Um, what should we do is, I'll just uh, open the, the login node on this side separately as well. So here we can just go to slash nfs and just create a new file touch test.txt I'll just create a file called test.txt and then come over here ls you can see that it appeared on the compute node number one as well so that's how you're going to install this uh, nfs client on all the uh, client machines and then join them to the network file system so when this is done then we'll move on to next step that will be the installation of slurm queuing system with the queuing system you can then uh, configure different software tools to use the cluster so until this point your cluster is almost ready your nodes can talk to each other they can log into each other without a password they are sharing a network file system now the next thing is to install a queuing system there are different queuing systems but we are going to use slurm what is slurm how it is used we'll uh, watch it in the next video so until then uh, i hope you would have uh, understood things uh, till now if there are any questions you can just post in the comment section and i'll i'll try to uh, reply you as soon as i can thank you very much for watching bye bye